is Shazen A, and if you recognize this shirt, then you probably watched my Sephora haul where I showed you what we will be swatching today, which are the Too Faced Melted Metal um, Liquid Lipsticks. I have never used um, the original melted lipsticks, but now they came out with like the metallic version of them, and I think they have maybe like seven-ish colors um, and I picked out three that I thought would look best on my skin tone. I picked out two of the more like neutral everyday wear shades and then I picked out a plum for this upcoming fall. So um, this video is just going to include swatches. I'm going to put the lipsticks on for you guys and tell you, you know, my first impressions of that and all that fun stuff. So if you're interested, then please keep watching. I know the lighting's a bit weird because I'm, I'm running out of daylight. <laughs> so the first one that we're going to swatch is um, the first one that I picked out which is called Macaroon. It's, it says Macaron but I always pronounce it Macaroon. Am I pronouncing that right? Anyways, this is what the packaging looks like. So it has a super long um, cap and then it just says melted metal on the front and it says liquefied metallic lipstick and the color is on the back. The color is on the back right there. So let's go ahead and see what the applicator looks like. Oh, okay. So it's a felt tip um, applicator. It's not a doe foot or anything. Can you really see that? A little bit. A little bit. Uh, there we go. That's a little better. Do you see that? Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and squeeze these kinds of applicators. You squeeze until the product shows up. Whoa, that came out quick. Okay. So I'm squeezing it a little bit, so let me grab my mirror. Okay, so as I was applying it, what my first initial reaction is I was surprised by the color. It came out much more vibrant than I thought it would. Um, personally, I love the color. I think it's gorgeous, but I definitely thought this was going to be more wearable for every day than it actually is. Now, you can definitely get away with it um, for a daytime look, don't get me wrong, but I don't think it's a lipstick that I would typically um, wear every single day. This is definitely like a fun, um, bright color. My camera is doing there's a dog freaking out in my neighborhood my camera puppy dog literally barks all day every day are we done Okay, sorry. Um, so it definitely threw me off with the color, but don't get me wrong, I really, really, really love this color. I think it's a gorgeous pink color. Um, I'm not a huge fan of the applicator. I more so wish it was a doe foot than the felt tip one. I'm just not a huge fan for felt tips. I just feel like it's more unsan... I don't know. I don't know, maybe that's just a thing. I don't. It just looks more dirty to me, you know what I mean? And it's just um, harder for me to apply and get it exactly where I want it to go. Now where it's not sticky at all, you can see it has a bit of gloss, it has that metallic-y finish, um, but it, it's not like drying matte, it's not a dry to matte, and it's not, I don't think it's a stain either. It doesn't feel dry, um, it doesn't feel sticky, it doesn't feel like anything really. It has like a slight smell to it, but it's more just like a cosmetic-y type of smell versus like watermelon or strawberry, you know what I mean? It just kind of smells a little bit like cosmetics, but it's not um, a wicked uh, a prominent smell. Like you can barely notice it. I only noticed it because I smelled it for you guys. You're welcome. Uh, but no, I love this color. It does seem to transfer a little bit, so I think you'd have to be, um, you know, careful with it, of course. If you're going out, you don't want to smudge it or anything, but I love this color. So let me go ahead and wipe this off, and we'll move on to our second color. So it's coming off extremely easily. I'm just, I just took a makeup wipe, and I'm very lightly washing or <laughs> wiping against the lipstick, and it's coming right off. Not really staining at all, that's pretty much my natural lip color, so if you're worried about how it wipes off, super easy. Okay, the next color we are moving on to, I can't pronounce it, it's called like de de Debutante, Debutante, something like that, I don't know, it looks, in the packaging, it looks like a corally pink, um, so I'm really curious, so this is what this one looks like um, versus the one we just did. So definitely more of the coral and orange family. So again, the exact same uh, applicator, exact same 
process, so let me go ahead and put this one on. Okay, personally, it's really, really peachy for me. I don't personally like it on my skin tone. I feel like this color would be stunning on someone who's darker though because I'm so pale that it just kind of makes me look more pale. Um, it really doesn't do my skin tone really any justice. And the thing that I'm finding so far with these melted um, lipsticks is that the packaging is extremely deceiving. You know what I mean? Like that's not what I expected at all. I expected it to be much more pink, but it's definitely on the peachy but the orange family than the pink family. So I I don't know what I'm gonna do with this. Um, I don't know, but I'm probably not gonna use it unless you know. I'll probably just hold on to it for like makeup tutorials or costume tutorials or whatever. It probably can come in handy. Um, I'm just bummed out that it. You know, I won't really be using it very often. The color is gorgeous, don't get me wrong. There's nothing wrong with the color, um, but there's everything wrong with the color for my skin tone. <laughs> I'm really curious to move on to our last one. I was curious as it was, but now I'm like, what is this color gonna look like? It's called Metallic Violet. Ooh, I forgot to dry off my lips. It's called Metallic Violet. And the packaging looks like this, but I'm gonna assume it's gonna be like super, super, super purple because um, the other ones have surprised me as well. Um, so let me go ahead and apply this one and we'll see what we think. I really, really, really hope I like it. Okay, in my opinion, this is the one that came out the most true to package. Um, you know what I mean? Like this did not surprise me with the color that it came out and I love it. I love it so, so much. I've been trying to really, really get into plums especially last fall. Um, so this fall, at least I have a new lip product to try out during the autumn season. But I love this lip color. I think it's totally, it's gorgeous. And I feel like it's one of those colors that looks gorgeous on fair skin just as much as it does on dark skin versus the uh, peach one. I definitely think it's more focused on dark skin and I feel like the pink one could also be versatile for whatever skin tone you have. Um, but those are the only three colors I got. I can most definitely get the other ones but I only will if you guys let me know that you enjoy these because I don't want to waste your time, I don't want to waste my time. Either way I'm probably going to buy them and have them in my makeup collection but if you guys want to see swatches I'd love to do it for you guys. I love doing this for you guys but just let me know. So if you enjoyed please leave a thumbs up. You can also subscribe if you don't want to, if you don't want to miss any new videos. I'm also on Instagram and Twitter both as Jason A and until my next video I'll see you next time. Bye guys.